guys, good day. This is Rachel from iPass Processing and welcome back to our channel. It's been a while that I didn't make a vlog because I was quite busy. So this time, I'm going to discuss to you another topic which is about when are you going to see your license as having a multi-state status or a compact status of your license because one of our pastors who previously passed the NCLEX through Texas Board of Nursing was wondering why as she was checking on her nurses account that's nursys.com that's the website where you are going to check your license if it was already issued coming from the board and then as she was checking it she has seen that her license is at a single state meaning to say although that it was through texas board of nursing and texas board of nursing is one of those included as a compact state so she was expecting that her license should also be in a multi-state status or in a compact state status so for your multi-state status or your compact status your license can be used in another compact states meaning to say you don't need to have the license endorsement but there's also one concern about that say for example because we have one client who is i think currently living in minnesota and then she was telling us that her family is going to move to texas therefore her primary residence later on will be texas and it will no longer be Minnesota. Therefore, she has to, I'm not sure if that's Minnesota though, but it's one of the compact license. I'm not sure if that's Minnesota or it was Mississippi, but her license on that particular state was a compact license. But during the transferring or the endorsement of your license, because there is one thing that you have to do, is to declare where is the primary state of residence so if ever that you are moving from one state which is although a compact state but you are moving to a different state and that will be your primary state then that means to say you still need to do the license endorsement you get it even though your license is a multi-state license as long as you are going to transfer in another state wherein you will be staying there permanently therefore that state will become your primary state of residence already therefore you need to have the declaration of your primary state of residence which is that particular state therefore even though your license was previously a compact or currently a compact license you still need to do the license endorsement because this another state will already become your primary state of residence but in another instance that your license is already a multi-state license or a compact license and then you are just going to practice as a nurse in another state which is also a compact state but you are not going to stay there permanently you will not transfer your residence your primary state of residence then that's the time that you don't need to do the license endorsement because in the USA you can practice as a nurse telephonically electronically and not just physically that's why you can see in the application in Texas Board of Nursing that it will ask you where do you plan to practice as a nurse physically telephonically and electronically so for that client of ours who previously passed the NCLEX and she was checking the nurses that it was still a single state it's also because that particular client is still currently outside of Texas because even though Texas or a particular state is a compact state but if your residence is still outside of USA, particularly on that state, therefore, the status of your license will not become a multi-state license yet. It will not become a compact license yet because you are not yet there. But once you already will be staying on that particular state, you will be residing on that state, on that particular compact state then that's the time that you are going to inform the board that 
Hey, Board of Nursing, I already have the social security number. I already have my driver's license. I'm declaring that this will become my primary state of residence. Then the Board of Nursing will change your status from a single state to a multi-state license. So that's when we are going to see a change of the status of your license. So meaning to say, even though that that particular state is a compact state, as long as you are still outside of that particular compact state, the status of your license will not become a multi-state as of this time. But once you are already there, then that's the time that you can also provide them your residential address. Then that's the time that the board will change the status of your license. So what's the benefit of having a multi-state or a compact state license? As what I have told you, you don't need to endorse your license if ever that you already have your multi-state license. But say for example also another instance, you already have your multi-state license, okay? And then you are going to transfer and you will be residing and you will be practicing as a nurse in another state wherein that's not a compact state. Meaning to say, in that instance, you need to have the license endorsement from a compact state to a single state. So... That's where we are going to inform you as well. So I think it may sound quite confusing for you at this time, but you don't need to worry about it, whether it's a compact state or a single state status as of this time, that you are still outside of the USA, that you are still residing here in the Philippines or in other countries outside of the USA. What's important for you to remember is that you need to pass your NCLEX first and then you are going to apply through a recruitment agency wherein also in IPAS processing we also have partners who are recruitment agencies like Health Carousel, we are in partnership with Universal Staffing Kinetics, we are also in a partnership with Midliant and we are also in partnership with Lab Minds. and uh, actually you can check our partners for the recruitment agencies through our website that's www.ipasprocessing.com on the lower portion of our website you can see in there the list of our recruitment partners. So your recruitment agency, your employer, will now decide where are they going to deploy you and what particular state they are going to deploy you. And then you will be concerned then as to the process of the license endorsement. What's very important is just you just need to pass your NCLEX and then worry later on about the endorsement process. And also, there was one caller who called me today, just today. She was telling that she already passed the NCLEX through Florida Board of Nursing because Florida Board of Nursing will not issue an active license because the requirement of the Board of Nursing is that they need you to provide a valid social security number for them to issue a license. Therefore, even though she passed already the NCLEX, but she doesn't have the active license yet. So she was asking me if what will be the process of the license endorsement or can we assist an IPAS for the process of license endorsement. So I asked her if she already have a recruitment agency or her employer has already decided where she will be deployed because it will be costly for you if you are just going to do or we are just going to assist you for license endorsement without even knowing where is really your final destination. Because for the license endorsement, you might also be spending around 30 to 35,000 in pesos and that will be the cost for your endorsement application. It would be a waste of time, a waste of resources on your part if ever that we are going to do the license endorsement and it's not yet decided finally where you will be deployed. So you only do or you only ask our assistance for the license endorsement if ever that you already know where you will be deployed. So that's it for today guys. If ever that you need assistance for your NCLEX application, for your license endorsement, for your visa screen, for your Middle East exam applications for Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Saudi, Qatar, Oman, even Bahrain, we have data flow assistance as well. For your visa screen, for your license endorsement or your, for your license renewal, even we also have discounted euro subscription and the newest service that we have is the 
iPass NCLEX online review program wherein we have the three month duration of our NCLEX online review program and it's a one year and limited as well. So if ever that you also want to check our other services, you might want to check the description down below so that you will see what are the services that we are offering to our clients. And we are not only catering Filipinos as well, but we are also providing assistance for other nationalities. Actually, currently, we also have a lot of other nationalities who are with us for this processing on their NCLEX examination. And we are very thankful and we are very grateful that they are also trusting us even they are not Filipinos. So for you who are Filipinos, thank you. Thank you very much from the bottom of our heart because you entrusted your application to us and you continue to trust IPAS processing for your exam application and for other services that we are providing to you as well. Thank you very much. Until the next video, God bless everyone. Stay safe and bye-bye.